Today we're going to talk about the relationship between hepatitis C, iron, and cirrhosis. What are the symptoms of hep C? And by the way, hepatitis C is the most common type of hepatitis. And we're talking about a specific virus. So the main symptoms would be fatigue, flu-like symptoms, darker urine, abdominal pain, yellow skin, eyes, and there's many, many more. Now, what's interesting about hep C is that there's a high rate of people with hep C that also have high iron. And when you have hepatitis C, it makes it more difficult to get rid of iron. So usually you're gonna have iron overload. And that iron creates oxidation and a lot of free radicals. And that's what's gonna to lead to inflammation and cirrhosis. And not only that, iron is needed to keep the virus that's causing the problem in reproduction mode. So it actually thrives on iron. So there's three things that I would recommend. There's something called lactoferrin. You can get it from the health food store, probably online, but it's in breast milk. It's also in something called colostrum, which is in breast milk, but it can be extracted from colostrum in cow's milk, and you can get it as a supplement. Based on certain studies, which I'm gonna put a link down below, you don't wanna take less than 3.6 grams to create the effect because lactoferrin is a very powerful antimicrobial. It also suppresses the replication of the virus in hepatitis C. It binds to the virus. It helps lower liver enzymes. It helps lower inflammation. It also increases phagocytosis, which is part of the immune system. So it's a really good immune booster. But what's fascinating is how it works. It works by preventing iron to be available to the virus. So it's like starving off the food for the virus, which by the way, it's not even alive. It's actually just leaching off your cells. So lactoferrin can go in there and affect the DNA and the RNA and prevent the iron from being used by the virus. And this is also beneficial to people with HIV, cytomegalovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, and others. I'll put the link down below. The next thing that I would recommend for hep C would be vitamin D. There's a very high rate of people who have hep C that also have a vitamin D deficiency. Now, whether that's coming from a lack of sunshine, it could also be because they have insulin resistance, or they could have a defect in the vitamin D receptor. And the last thing I'm gonna recommend is fasting. Okay, why? Because fasting strengthens your immune system. If you do periodic prolonged fasting, like 48 hours or even 72 hours, you'll stimulate stem cells and that will help you grow a new immune system. Also, fasting stimulates autophagy, which has a function of cleaning up microbes, including viruses. Now, if you haven't seen my videos on vitamin D and why you would be deficient, I put this video up here, check it out.